This is devotional number 178, and today's date is November 23rd, 2016. We've been looking this week at uh, a word, Strong's number 96, uh, adokimos, uh, in Strong's exhaustive concordance, and seeing using this sort of as a jumping off point to learn more about how to use Strong's concordance. And I'd like to uh, begin a, a lengthy summary, which is going to go over these uh, next uh, three, next today's devotional and two more this week. Uh, one of the things that we've learned uh, in this study is the nature of man's rebellion and sinfulness against God uh, as we read uh, in Romans 1.28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. In Romans 1, the sin of homosexuality is prominently featured. And of course, it was very much in view uh, during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah and in spite of being looked down upon throughout history, in our day it has achieved not only the status of legal marriage uh, in most countries, but is regarded as something good and wholesome. In our present day, when the entire world has come under the judgment of God, He is punishing mankind by allowing them to go deeper and deeper into their sin, causing sin to multiply exponentially as never before in human history. The intense focus on same-sex marriages and the gay pride movement in general underlies a spiritual dynamic, which among other things is highlighting the fact that these marriages are incapable of producing offspring. Such unions are not only forbidden and condemned by God, but they further chip away at the already corroding structure of the family that is the building block of society. We could characterize them as being represented, representative of false gospels, which lack the capacity to save anyone. They masquerade as the true gospel by having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Uh, this is evidenced by 2 Timothy 3.8 and Titus 1.16, respectively. Now, as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. In our current day of judgment, which began on May 21, 2011, when God shut the door to salvation to the world at large, even as He had done previously with the institutional churches as of May 21, 1988, at the beginning of the final Great Tribulation period, we can even go a step further by maintaining that these same homosexual and lesbian marriages, which lack the power of natural procreation, typify the reality that spiritual procreation is no longer possible. Once mankind enter the day of judgment, and all who dwell on the earth are in a fixed spiritual state, according to Revelation 22:11, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. 